So hello ladies and gentlemen, today is day one of the 25 days of Dax Friday's challenge. At two o'clock you're going to get the first question. And last Friday I told you that you, you know, here is the source. You can actually see here if you click on the second edition of 25 days for Dax Fridays, how to participate. You have access to the source in here. And while looking at the source, you were trying to create the model. I think the biggest issue was that either it was too slow to connect to it or you had timeout issues. So I'm going to show you how I did it. Then you can follow the same approach because you won't have the issues that you're mentioning. And I take the opportunity to show you how to connect in case you haven't done it yet. It's actually very, very easy. So what you will go, go to curval.com, click on the link, and then come here to GitHub. Click on GitHub. This is the data source. And you can see here that he made the data set available in different formats, CSV, JSON, RAW. I chose CSV. So I clicked on CSV. And tournaments is the table that you're going to need. So I'm going to click on it. And then you click here on RAW. And whatever link comes here, you copy, you go to Power BI, you go to web, and you're going to paste the link that you just copied in there. It's going to create a direct link to GitHub so you can refresh it in case Joshua decides to make amends to the data set, add, remove things, we all get the same changes, right? So transform data. And now that we have this in here, we're going to promote the headers. And I do two things to all the tables. Mm -hmm. The first one is here you go, open the parentheses so it doesn't kill anything, table, transform, and then column names. And then you go at the end of the line and then you do each. And here we're going to do two things to the column headers. We're going to remove the underscore that you see here. You saw there. <laughs> remove this underscore and make it capital letters. I just prefer to look at it that way. So if you do text replace, and then you do for each row of the table, you go and you replace the underscore with a space. And you'll see what it does in a second. Um, you can see that all the underscores are gone, which is the one thing that we want to do. The second thing that we want to do is to do open the parentheses text proper. So we capitalize those things. Right. And now we have proper headers. The last thing that you need to do is to go through all the columns and then give them the proper um, data type. Make sure you always do that because otherwise you're going to get into all kinds of trouble without no reason, right? If you do this in the beginning, you'll be fine. All of these are whole numbers. So whole numbers. And then I change also the table name to capital letter, if I remember correctly. And then you just close and apply. And now you can just um, Refresh it every day before you are going to answer the question for the day to make sure that your results matches with mine. My data set will refresh once a day when a new question is posted, so you need to do the same. So we make sure that we're aligned. And as you can see, we import in one table. You're going to see if you import more than one table that he, I believe, he thought of this data set as you can use it as an individual tables or you can use it as a data set with a model. So a lot of the tables repeat columns. So you will find tournament ID in a lot of the tables, but not only the ID, you will find also the name, for example, or you have player ID and then you will have the given name and the family name. So you have two choices here. You can remove them because you won't need it if you're creating a model or you can leave them. I mean, the challenge is more like a tax challenge. It's up to you if you want to get rid of them. This is a very small data set. It will not affect the performance of your file at all. <laughs> so you shouldn't worry too much about it. If you want to make it for real and as close as a real exercise as possible, you can go ahead and delete the columns that you 
find that are repeated or they are not in the dimension tables and go from there. Okay. okay, so my strategy was I will import, and I do that on real life cases too. It's just a habit that I have. I never import an entire mother ever. I just import the tables that I need. So obviously when I was creating the challenge, I did not know which tables I needed. I need to first have a question. But once I had a question, I went through the code book that he shared in here and look what table do I need for my to answer my next question. This is here's the code book. This PDF in here. And just imported that table. And I recommend you to do that because it will be easier also to do the modeling that way instead of trying to figure out everything on one go. Now, if you're an experienced modeler or you want to take this modeling challenge too, to please go ahead and, you know, do the modeling before. That's absolutely fine. It's up to you how you do it. But if you are a beginner and you are having trouble with timeouts or you're having troubles with it's too slow, just do it the way I did it. Just import the tables that you need when you need them and then you'll be good to go. Okay, so now at uh, two o'clock today, Swedish time, GMT, I think we're plus two now, it's going to change very soon. Uh, the new question will pop up. So it's going to go from easy to harder and then back to easier. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to see what you think. And uh, yeah, any questions that you have, go on Reddit. And I, we actually made some changes. Let me show you. You know, this is a moving target. <laughs> Reddit here. So I have created a collection. Let me see how I show you this. I've created a collection uh, that will allow you to... Here's the collection. If you click on it and click on follow, it will allow you to see all the questions related to the challenge in one go. So here you'll have the announcement of the 25 days of Dash Fridays. Here will be, you know, how to follow this collection. And then it will be day one, day two, day three. So you can have a post per day to answer and ask questions. We are now three moderators. is myself and Bernat and Kevin. Okay, so we hope to be able to help you in anything that you need. Now, please be mindful that we do have full-time jobs on the side, so if we can't answer right away and you know the answer, please help somebody, right? You don't need to be a moderator to help. Just important to say that. So that's all. Follow the collection, enjoy the challenge, and I'll see you again on the next video.